because the whole thing about being afraid to fly is, you know, I would never say something as demeaning as it's all in your head, but it's all in your head, okay? And that's not a judgment about you, that's what it is. Life is in all of our heads. Without being fully human, we wouldn't have any of the problems that we have. But that also gives us the richness of life. So it's emotions that, that, that bring us the joy and it's emotion that brings us the terror and all the other stuff that goes along with it. What I really want you to do is just kind of own the experience of getting on an airplane without the thought that it's going to move underneath you. But I want at some point today, I want you just to sit somewhere in the airplane by yourself or with the person you came with and I want you just to imagine, I want you to try to generate some anxiety. Eric and I will, will be in the back and then we'll just shuttle up about three or four people at a time to give everybody an opportunity to, to sit in the cockpit or be up in the cockpit there and Rick will answer your questions up there. All right, what we, have, what we have down here on the center console where the green lettering and writing is, that's our uh, flight computer. And so we put our route in there and then we can see the route in green on our navigation display up there. You see the PHX-04 and then the PHX-04 up there. When people say, they're afraid to fly, I tell them not to resist it, you know, and I'm not sure that means anything until you get to a certain point, but don't fight it, you know, let yourself be afraid, that's why I think I mentioned that early on, is you have to give yourself permission to be afraid, we don't care why it is, we don't know why it is, it, it just happens that way, people do far better than they ever imagine.